Hi, and welcome to the podcast on the biology course syllabus. Now, whether you're in biology one, two, or three, it doesn't matter. How we run things this year will be very similar. We'll do similar labs, we'll have similar content, we'll do similar activities. So that means these four instructors here, you can contact either one if you ever have a question. If one of them is busy, doesn't matter, you can always see a different one. We're doing all the same things just about at the same time. Now what we're going to do is gleam through some of the important information on this syllabus. I'm not going to go through every single detail. You can definitely read that on your own and follow along as I go through this syllabus. So if you scroll down, course description, power standard, that you can read on your own time. But I'd like to take a stop here at the syllabus and just make note of a few things. Please come prepared every single day with something to write with. Make sure you have a binder with some extra paper stored and get in the habit of saving things to a flash drive. It makes it a lot easier when you're going from school to home that you can have those documents readily at your disposal. Also, if you do have them, it's much easier if you have your own set of colored pencils and highlighters. We do a lot of color coding and coloring of things, so if you have your own, it works a little more um, in your favor. It's a little more convenient. And then the last thing I want to bring your attention for supplies is Kleenex. Um, we go through a lot of Kleenex in a year, and um, if you want to use them, let's be part of the cause. Let's all chip in, bring in a box, and it'll make it hopefully last the whole year. Now on to grading policies. Um, something that's different this year, if I scroll down a little bit farther, are the marking periods. We no longer have four quarters that are nine weeks. That's gone. Okay, now what we have are three marking periods per semester. And each of those three marking periods is going to be six weeks long. So it's still the same amount of time as before. It's 18 weeks per semester, but they're divided into thirds instead of in half. Now, those thirds will have work and we've broken that down into certain percentages. The daily assignments that you do in small activities will be 5%, larger labs will be 10, Quizzes, 15, and then assessments, you'll notice that's an important one. That's 70% of your grade throughout the 18 weeks. That's a pretty big number. So keep that in mind when those tests come around. They're not a joke. They're not to be taken lightly. Now, if we look at the whole semester and the semester grades, because those are the ones that are important, 80% of your semester grade will be compiled from those marking periods. And just so you know, those marking periods, they don't end after six weeks. There's a cumulative running tally going for the full 18 weeks. And then when we get to semester exams, like say around the middle of January when we have semester one exams, that'll compile the other 20% of your semester grade. So keep in mind the assessments are where the important um, points are obtained for the course. Speaking of assessments, um, I just want to briefly mention what they will be measuring this year. The first thing that they'll be measuring, just like any other test you've taken, is content. What is biology? What is a cell? The other thing that it will be measuring is something called College Readiness Skills, or the acronym known as CRS. Okay, that's the second thing. And I don't want to get into a lot of detail right now about CRS because you'll find out much more about that later on. Moving on to classroom policies, behavior expectations. You guys are old enough to know exactly what we we need of you in the classroom and you're smart enough to make those good choices. So I hope that it doesn't come to these certain um, disciplinary actions. Attendance expectations. This one may be a little bit new to you if you're coming into the high school. If you miss a day, you need to see your teacher not during class, it's during resource or after school the day you come back. I don't care if I see you, if you missed an A day and my class is on a B day, or you missed an A day and class is on an A day, you need to see me the following B day. You're going to be given the exact amount of days you were gone, not A or B days, it's the full day. It's not the class periods. 
If you happen to miss a major test or lab, those will give you a little bit more time. You get three school days to complete those. But that's on your shoulders to come and approach the teacher at a time that's convenient for both of you. Lab expectations, we take these pretty seriously um, because there's safety issues concerned. So make sure you're using your head and you're thinking in the lab. Otherwise, um, it will result in a loss of lab privileges and you'll get a zero for all the remaining labs. On to tardies. This is in bold. It's important. You must be in your seat and working on bell work. Otherwise, you'll be chalked up for a tardy. Now, you get two free tardies per semester without any penalty. But the third one, that will be dealt with in the office with a detention and a behavior referral. For late work, right here, if you have a late assignment, you just forgot about it, and you said, oh, I'll get it into you first thing the next day you only receive a 25% point deduction. If it's received any time thereafter, if it's received in resource the next day, even it's a 50%. So there's some incentive for you to actually get that late work done on your own time and then turn it in first thing in the morning. For passes, oops, went a little too far. Let me move back up. Pass policy, um, you're going to have to use your planner to get out of the room or your cell phone as a collateral, but please make sure you're not doing it during the first or last 15 minutes because sometimes that's the most important part of the class. Now the last thing I'd like to do before I wrap up this podcast is talk about resource policies. Now if you're a freshman, if you're in ninth grade, you're required to be in resource, at least for the first, I believe, semester. But if you're in 10th through 12th grade, you don't have to be as long as your grades are above a C minus. You get to sleep in. However, regardless of what grade you're in and what class you got the previous quarter that determines your resource, if you have any of these different situations, you will be required to be in resource. And if you fail to show, despite not being required to be there, it will be a detention. So essentially, here's what this means. You have a late assignment, that means you've got to be in resource the next day, regardless of if you're required or not. If you have a quiz score lower than a C-, you're going to be doing error analysis the next resource. Well, what's error analysis? That's just essentially fixing your mistakes. If you have a test that's lower than a C-, you'll do the error analysis again. And then, so we don't have the same mistake, you're going to be in the next two resources prior to the next test to make sure you're preparing and studying um, to do better. If your overall grade is lower than a D, a 67, you'll be in resource until that grade is raised. So make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing uh, and that you can stay out of resource and hopefully sleep in a little bit. Now the last thing I want to show you is the Biology Moodle homepage. And this one is Bio 2. You can see the, the major links on both sides. We have a calendar for course due dates and things. But right here, if you go below the calendar, you see the syllabus, lab bench, first assignment. If you click on that first assignment, it says, after viewing the syllabus, please complete, complete the viewing guide. And if you look here, here's the first assignment. And you just complete this. It's not too tough of an activity. You push submit at the end. And that's it. You're done. It's an easy A. So make sure you get this done. And I hope the podcast on the bio syllabus was helpful. Thanks for listening.